Hello, 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 and happy Saturday slash Sunday to all of my lions, Leos. I am talking to each and every one of you all. Let's get right into your general reading, Leos. The energy has already been clear, so let's get into your general reading. Hopefully you all are having a great weekend. I know that you are because that's the intention you set, right? All right, Leos, let's see what's to come. All right, very, very nice, very nice. Oh, Lord. Okay, wait a second. What in the world is going on? Whew. Deep sigh. Here we have Five of Cups, Page of Swords, the Lover's Card, which is attached to Gemini, the Page of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Three of Swords. It looks like somebody's taking their power back. Leos, believe it or not, and I know y'all can believe this, <clears throat> somebody just cannot move on from you. Who is it? What are y'all doing to people? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Listen, I know you all are caring. You all live a great life. You're very optimistic. You all are natural leaders. You're loyal, you're honest, you're vivacious, you're very creative, very passionate, generous, you're warm-hearted, cheerful, humorous, all these wonderful things that you are Leos. But I'm telling you, a lot of people are not going to really truly miss you until you are gone. And this right here, this is letting me know. <sighs> okay. So a challenging relationship with yourself. See, somebody is coming into the realization of that they're that they are a healer. You're your healing energy. So it's not until you have gone that people really, really start missing you. Like they didn't realize how much they would miss you until you left. Because you're not coming back. You got into somebody has come gotten to the place where you know what I've cried my last tear over you. I have drag my knuckles across the floor in sadness, lip hanging, bottom lip hanging. I mean, just in just complete sadness. But where I am right now, I'm ready for this new, this new phase. Now, interesting, we are set. The moon is at 72% illumination right now at the time of filming, just so we're clear, just in case somebody has a calendar. I know it's 79%. <laughs> at the time of filming is 72 Anyway, we know that the moon is aligned to our feelings, subconscious habits, moods, emotions, and in intuition, right? So your intuition is becoming even more heightened. So somebody knows exactly who I am talking about. Somebody who you had deep emotions for, agape love, right? Deep, deep, deep emotions for. Could have been a soulmate, could have been a twin flame, but it was somebody that you love. Because we know soulmate doesn't necessarily have to mean lover or somebody you dated. It could be a family member, best friend, or whatever. But you're never letting them come back into your space because they cause you to stay like this. Their energy, somebody is starting to realize it was their energy triggering a lot of childhood feelings. Sometimes you don't connect the two that it's a certain person, it's their energy because you're looking at the outer shell. But it's their energy that causes you to feel a way that, that triggers emotions like unresolved emotions like suppressed emotions or repressed suppressed and repressed emotions like somebody is re recognizing like hold on let me let me just when i step back from the situation they trigger emotions that i never fully healed from something in that sacral chakra area from the ages of 8 and 14 something happened yes and you thought they were going to fill that void, that emotional void. We got to be real careful about not going to therapy for things that we feel like, okay, we've gotten over them. the loss of a loved one, the end of a job, which is traumatic for some people because you just never know what's going on in people's lives. Um, the end of a romantic relationship, the end of a friendship. Um, when you have to move around too much, like people don't understand how traumatic that can be for somebody, for some people. So if you haven't dealt with that and here comes this person who seems to be completely, totally emotionally in tune with you. And then you're trying to figure out why is it that I can't let this person go? What, what is wrong with me that I just cannot disconnect from this energy, right? And you start saying to yourself, well, wait a minute, when I think about them, when I first met the person, because I need to run it down for somebody, because somebody is like, somebody was emotionally out of balance. The person 
was a sweetheart. They were giving their all in the beginning. They weren't holding back their emotions, very charming, um, very, they had this very maternal energy. It could have been a man or a woman, but they have very maternal energy, like, um, very welcoming. You know, when you think of like what maternal energy feels like, very welcoming, very nurturing, very, um, this energy was very, uh, loyal. Can't they, what they gave off when they first, when you first had interactions with them, um, very compassionate, very, um, empathetic, um, they just feel like they just naturally healed those spaces. Um, something about their energy was very um, resourceful, um, very focused, very ambitious. They seem very faithful. Um, all these wonderful things, right? But as time went on, and this is part of the reason why you would never let them back in your space. And it's not because you hate them. You have actually forgiven them. Somebody has some rose quartz. But somebody also has some amethyst. Rose quartz deals with self, uh, deals with self-love, forgiveness, love, you know. Somebody also has some uh, amethyst. God level of clarity is showing you exactly what was out of alignment in your own spirit. So this person could have been a lover, but now you're focusing on self-love, like really, really focusing on doing things to nurture yourself. So you're speaking because Gemini, this is attached to Gemini. Gemini is the um, ruling planet. They share ruling planet with Virgo um, and then the communication planet. But Virgo, I mean, Gemini, like you all, are divine masculine energies, divine, divine masculine dualities. So you're speaking things over yourself. You understand, Leo? You're saying things like, I love you. You know, uh, I'm going to nurture you. I'm going to do things. You you are, you know, you are all these wonderful things that I said that you are. You are saying these things to yourselves, right? So you're constantly reminding yourselves of what you brought into their lives instead of what they brought into your lives. Like you're, you were at first putting them on some kind of a pedestal. Now you're saying what you brought into their lives, and it's not arrogance. It just is. Like, even if you were in a relationship with them, not even a romantic lover's relationship, in a business relationship with them, like, wait a second, I brought my skill set. I brought my schooling. I brought my professionalism. I brought even certain people to the table that could help. You know, I brought my contacts and all of this other stuff. And so that's what's helping you heal your broken heart. Also, moving forward, I see you all putting those emotions to the side and actually vetting energies coming your way, Leos. So somebody is having a real rough time emotionally of letting you go. And actually it's going to come out on people around them. It's going to come out them being moody, low vibrating, negative, all sorts of things. So it's going to be, it's going to be tough for some people. Remember, we're getting closer and closer to the full moon. And that moon is a lot of, um, aligned to emotions as well, not just intuition, but emotions. So partially, some of them are thinking, oh, I never, I, you know, basically, I'm not even going to run down the list of what their thoughts are right now, because it, it won't even really make a difference because you've already decided I'm done with that situation and I'm moving on. So because you're done with it and because you've forgiven them and you've forgiven yourself, for not listening to your own intuition first and you're focusing on healing, guess what that makes you more? It makes you more appealing to people. So I do see you coming in contact with your twin flame. So don't be surprised. That's what I'm saying. Forgive people, move on, release it into the universe, take a blowtorch, blow it to a smithereens and keep on moving. I know that <laughs> Leo, I'm not trying to dismiss anybody's emotions here, but I'm saying like, I'm just showing you what I'm seeing in the cards. Cause if I really ran down every single thing that's in my spirit right now, we'd be sitting around this bonfire for two hours, me really running down what's going on through their mind right now. But I see you sailing away from the emotions. Again, disappointed. I don't want anybody to operate in this, this feeling of um, regret, like I regret ever meeting that person because that's not going to help your healing process. As a matter of fact, that's something you want to embrace. Like, I'm glad I had the, uh, that opportunity. So now I can close that chapter of my life and I can move on. Again, taking that blowtorch because you're a fire sign, taking that blowtorch, burning it to a crisp. They can never come back across that bridge because it's done. It's a wrap and I'm moving on so that I can make room for my actual person. Now, listen, Leo's, 
If you're in a relationship with your twin flame, please don't go home and start no mess with your twin flame talking about, I saw a tarot card reading and I just now, just create, and, don't do that. If you're with your person, hey, hug that person tighter, right? Just be grateful for some of the other relationships in your life that you've had to sever ties with completely and move on because that's going to also make it better for you in your home life. So if you're with your twin flame, hey, you could have had a family member that every time you thought about that family member, it just drained you emotionally. That's the person you're never going to let back into your life. So again, take what resonates with you. But there's a lot of re repressed emotions. But I do see you taking that blindfold off and just dealing with it. And this, the first start when I'm looking at here is forgiveness. So that's where your breakthrough is going to come through. Now enters your person if you're not in a relationship and if the person you... Um, that's thinking about you is an ex. You and your person are creating legacy well together. Now, now if it's, if, okay, let me be crystal clear because I need to cover everything. If you desire to be in a romantic relationship, I see you meeting your twin flame and you all creating legacy well together. Like money is just as attracted to you as it is to them. So they're not a gold digger. So we're crystal clear. They don't have any ulterior motive when it comes to money, right? That's that. If you're already with your person and let's say you've had to cut off some messy family members or some messy friends who were causing all kinds of like triggering those emotions of heartbreak and you were going through that, your marriage or your, your relationship with your person is going to get better and you all can start, stay focused on creating your legacy well. Now, if you have no desire to be in a romantic relationship, because not everybody wants to be married, not everybody wants to be booed up or partnered up, right? Not everybody. Some people is like, no, I'm good, single. Then this person could also represent a business partner that comes across your path and you all are creating legacy well together, okay? We got it all covered, good. Here comes more money. Again, more money coming across your path, but somebody needs to get laser focused. And when I say laser focused, I mean getting as far away from this energy, the emotions of this energy as possible. Change the channel, Leos. The moment you think about it, and the reason I got to say that is because we're getting closer to a full moon. So some of you all, your energy becomes even, remember the full moon for fire signs, you all are like, that gas tank is on, on, is on full, right? About to overflow with emotions. You can start having vivid dreams. All of a sudden, their name or spirit pops up in your spirit because they're trying to reach out to you via telepathy. Change the channel. Get as far away from the emotion attached to them as possible so you can focus on legacy wealth and making room for whomever or whatever you want to come into your life. Okay? Clear? Good. That blowtorch can you be your best friend. And I don't want somebody to go out to Lowe's or, or Home Depot and go buy a blowtorch. Wherever you get blowtorches from, I don't know where you even get them from, but don't go out and buy one. I'm saying, you know, this is where you're saying, I'm, I'm burning that bridge to a crisp. Emotionally, I have no more emotions for this person. I'm not even going to hold space for it. If I happen to think about it, I'm going to get up and do something to get them out of my spirit. Your intuition is extremely heightened extremely heightened, right? And I see a breakthrough for somebody. That breakthrough for somebody, and this came out twice in your cards, this Ace of Swords, that breakthrough for somebody felt like almost a breakdown, like somebody was having a nervous breakdown emotionally. I'm telling you, somebody needed to go get a mental checkup, a mental health checkup, and which is very serious, by the way, but it almost broke somebody, but you actually had a breakthrough because you start seeing yourself on the other side. That's the beautiful thing about the full moon though, Leos, that full moon that's aligned to our feelings, our subconscious habits, even and our intuition, your intuition kept telling you it's going to be great on the other side. It's going to be great on the other side. Leo, don't stop. Don't give up. Keep moving forward. Just leave that thing behind. Leave that emotion behind. Just move on, move on, move on. And yes, Your dreams need a practical plan. If you're going to move towards this, I'm telling you, that person that you're going to meet is not a gold digger. They are not a gold digger for several reasons. Why? Because you're going to be asking questions. They, they, you're going to ask more questions about, um, 
if I if I did an extended one, I can kind of tell you all exactly what signs you really, really need to be concerned with because there are some signs that really are all out for the money. I'm just telling I'm just not not trying to not trying to put anybody on blast, but there are some signs that really are all out for the money. And so you have to kind of sit back and be in receiving mode and really pay attention and listen to how they, um, and they'll do just about anything for money. I am just saying, and I'm not talking about Leo's either. Here we have abundance planning. All right. So this is where you want to start focusing on your abundance planning. Cause again, you'll either be going into business with somebody who does not see you as a cash cow. <clears throat> And you'll see it on them that they don't see you as a cash cow. They are genuinely interested in working with you in business and you all are prospering together. So it's not like a person who's trying to take advantage of you, right? And so, because you don't want to be contaminated by that energy. You do not want to be contaminated by gold digging energy, which could be a man or woman. Um, um, because that means you'll do anything for it. Right. And you don't want to just do anything where you want to keep everything above board, legal, legitimate, <laughs> you know, anybody go standing in front of a judge trying to, you know, I did X, Y, and Z for money. Right. Whatever. Here we have, when you give the, when you give the flow of life, never runs dry. Wholeness can afford to be generous. It feels no lack. Oh, just in case somebody wants to take a screenshot. Then we have the more I give, the more will come to me. Yep. So yeah, Leos, this is what you all are moving towards. You all are moving towards the legacy wealth that you've been asking for, more money, right? And also your names being on things like, you know, like you see family names on a bridge or family names on a, on some kind of a building, like a hotel or a part of a college or like a hall in a university that's dedicated to somebody's name or even on a park bench or like some places, like some churches have like... um. You know, you can donate a certain amount of money to have your name etched on a brick or things like that. But I see you leaving legacy behind for your children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, children you will never meet in this realm. Or if you don't have children for your community and or your community and the world at large, that's what this legacy wealth is about. So somebody has bigger plans for what they want to leave behind on this earth in this realm. And it doesn't include certain people, right? So again, do your homework, you know, make sure when people come across your path, they're not just there for what they can get from you. And I'm talking about using you, like using you as a ladder, not even a step ladder. We're talking about one of those real tall ladders that painters use for the side of the house where they're just going to just get all the way to the top of where they want to get to using you as a ladder and just throw you over the side, like throw that ladder over on the side. So anyway, Leos, this is what I have for you again don't get nervous about this full moon and coming up on the 18th in Virgo. Um, the number nine, one plus eight, remember I said the 18th, the number nine is significant in itself because it's a number of transformation. But don't be nervous with this full moon in Virgo. Virgo energy is really about being very meticulous, analyzing every crevice and corner of your life and just making some adjustments there. But again, this energy not only wants you back, wants, wants to come back into your life to be able to manipulate you in some way, shape, form, or fashion, but they also know that your person is coming in if you're not already in a relationship, whether that person is a business person or that person is a new love interest. And they want to, they want, it, it's just real sick and twisted. But it's anyway, that is what I have for you, Leos. Again, congratulations to each and every one of you all as we move towards this full moon. Do not be scared. Do not be nervous for what you see in your dreams to come across your, your thoughts, whatever, getting fired up about certain things. Don't get upset if this energy comes across your path. And it could be several people, actually, not just one. Don't get upset about it. Just recognize, hey, I need to go ahead and sever ties with that so I can move on and start my abundance planning without them. Okay? That's what I have for you. Bye.